by unanimous decision, Sean Penn. some crazy few months but glad to be back in the gym, glad to be back to work and have a fight set and just back to it really and feeling a lot better now mentally and physically. I've had stuff going on inside and outside of boxing so good now I'm back where I belong. This is my life, this is all I do, this is what I love doing. It's not very nice when things don't go right and you've got nothing to aim for because I didn't. I was thinking if this final's not going to happen, what if it doesn't happen this year then I'm not going to fight for a year. And that's a long time out of my career, especially now I'm 30. I want to be keeping as busy as I can, gaining momentum, so that way that I can achieve as much as I can in the sport. I don't know the ins and outs about why the final's not happening with Katie Reese. Um, I think it's something to do with her health. I actually messaged her when I found out and said, like, all boxing aside, health is more important than boxing, so I hope you're okay and wish you all the best and stuff, because at the end of the day, as frustrated I, as I am, health is more important. I can't just be like, oh, it's not fair, blah, blah, be a brat about it. It's just frustrating for us because we wanted the fight to be happening by now, obviously. Um, but we understand if, if she's not ready, then she's not ready. So, so Chantelle had to take a fight. She had to make sure she stayed busy. And here we are with this one. So, um, you know, it's not, it's not an easy contest, um, but, but it's one that I'm fully confident that Chantelle can win. If the fight happens, it happens. And hopefully it does happen because I definitely have a bit of anger in me then. The O2 has now become my favourite arena. It was such a good night and I can remember, fight, obviously because it was short notice that I was headlining because Dillian White pulled out of his shoulder injury. It was all like a whirlwind again. Like one minute I thought, ah, oh, the fight's off. I was having the media day in the gym. I went to sleep thinking, oh God, just my luck, the fight's not going to happen. And then to wake up to a text from Jamie saying, you're headlining the O2, it was just like, I couldn't believe it. And to then go to fight week and see my poster up on the big board outside, it was just it was a special moment. You know, it was one of those moments where I just enjoy seeing people achieve that sort of thing, you know, uh, becoming the Ring Magazine belt holder and a unified champion against a quality operator as well, so Mary McGee. So, brilliant experience and uh, it's a shame that the, the final couldn't happen straight after it on the back of such a great performance by Chantel. This fight, I don't feel pressure. I think I don't know if it's because of how I've been feeling lately with boxing, and I've come back to the gym and I'm with Jamie Nige and I'm just enjoying training again. I actually was said like, what about Victoria Bustos? I've seen her fight with Katie, Cecilia Brackhouse, Jessica McCaskill. So I mean, they're three amazing women fighters, world champions, undisputed world champions as well. So she's been in with them, put on great performances. Let's see what I can do. It's going to be a good fight, tough fight for me. And yeah, she's never been stopped and I'm not going to go looking for the stoppage, but if it comes, then it comes and it'd be nice if I got it. So we made sure that we got the right type of opponent, which, you know, Chantel's not going to have massive problems with, we don't feel, but also she's going to be difficult enough so that she still gets those butterflies in her belly and she makes sure that she's up for the fight the way she should be. So me and Jamie have got the tactics, like we're, we're, we're ready for, she, I think she may box a little bit, I think she's going to be trying to pick shots with me because obviously I'm a come forward fighter. I think as long as like, it all goes to plan, I think if she does try to come have a fight with me, I think I'll be too strong for her. So I think she'll go back to trying to box me. But the thing is, I can box as well. I'm improving now and I'm always improving. So for me, becoming a world champion, nothing's changed at all. I don't feel no pressure. I just feel hungry and determined that I will be one of the best female fighters in the world. My uncle passed away. And I, uh, last week, so f for this camp, I'm gonna. That's my motivation because he was like my biggest fan, and it was at all my fights, and he was so proud of me even when he was in hospital for four months. He was on YouTube, like his search bar was just Chantel Camden, showing all the nurses and stuff. So for me, that's my motivation. This fight, and I think this fight for me is different because I I am frustrated about the undisputed, but at the same time as I'm taking a different leaf for this fight, whereas this one's for my uncle and I'm going to make sure I put on a statement and going to make him proud.